Hi everyone and welcome to the Graduate School's Graduate Certificate in Arts and Cultural Management Open House. My name is Simone Liberty and I am the current graduate assistant for the Certificate in Arts and Cultural Management program. Today you'll be hearing from Dr. Karen Chandler who is our program director, but before she gets started I'd like to share with you a little bit about my experience um, as I am an alumni of the Bachelors of the Arts in Arts Management program from the College of Charleston, as well as a current student in the certificate program. <clears throat> I graduated with my BA in Arts Management in the spring of 2019 and immediately enrolled um, and was accepted to both the graduate certificate program as well as the Masters in Public Administration program here at the College of Charleston. I decided that the certificate was a fitting path for me after talking to Dr. Chandler about how the coursework within the certificate would expand upon the skills that I had worked on in my undergraduate career, um, as well as the um, ability to expand on the knowledge in um, grant writing, fundraising, arts um, education and advocacy, database technology management, and overall leadership in the arts sector. So I knew that I also wanted to earn a full master's degree and the intersection of um, the master's in public administration program with the arts and cultural certificate um, was very attractive to me. The ability to complete both degrees at once um, was an added bonus. So the intersection of the two programs has allowed me to explore how arts organizations and the arts sector at large benefit the community around me. More than anything though, my favorite part of being a part of the graduate certificate in arts and cultural management is the mentorship that the professors within the program have been able to offer to me, um, as well as the hands-on experiences that have been available through the certificates connections at a local, state, and national level. So thanks so much again for joining us today. And without further ado, here is Dr. Karen Chandler. Thank you. So I'm pulling up our website. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm glad you could join us. I am uh, joined. Uh, by uh, one of our faculty members in the Arts and Cultural Management Program, Kate Keeney. Uh, and you've already met Simone Liberty, who is our graduate assistant um, for this year, and Claire Long, who is our program coordinator. Some of you may know Claire um, is both the program coordinator for our undergraduate program and as well for our graduate program. So I'm sharing with you now um, our website. In fact, our website, the Arts and Cultural Management website is uh, within the Arts Management Program's uh, website. So if you go to Arts Management, then you will find us here um, at uh, the Graduate Certificate. Um, so let me just say a word or two about um, the certificate program. Um, the certificate is designed for um, students who not only are interested um, or have a background rather in, uh, in arts management. So you may um, be um, a senior who's getting ready to graduate with a major in arts management or a minor in arts management, or you may um, have taken one class, maybe our intro level class, or maybe you've not taken any um, of our classes. If you uh, have a desire and are interested in work on the management and business side of arts and cultural institutions, then this program is for you. You do not um, have to have had uh, experience in arts management in order to apply for this program. Uh, but the idea of our program is to um, train you with specific skills in management, marketing, fundraising, strategic planning, um, to be able to lead and manage arts and cultural institutions of all shapes and sizes, museums, uh, large and small, uh, art galleries, nonprofit and for-profit, uh, performing arts centers, um, theater companies, uh, dance companies, uh, any range of uh, museums. And so uh, the, we, what we have is a, a 15 credit 
uh, our curriculum. Uh, you can actually do this program in one year. So there are, uh, right now there are three, uh, two courses in the fall semester and three in the um, spring. Um, and I pause there because we are actually getting ready to flip uh, that sequencing. So in the fall, um, uh, if you applied and, and were accepted to the program, uh, you actually would start out with three courses uh, and then two in the, in the spring. So yes, you can do this program in exactly one year, exactly one year. Uh, and as you see on the screen, uh, these are the sort of highlights of um, our courses. I'm gonna show you the specific uh, courses in just a second. Uh, but the curriculum um, is geared to give you a perspective of um, uh, executive and fiscal um, leadership. And so a lot of, in fact, one uh, course in particular is actually taught by senior level executives in arts and cultural institutions. Um, there is a course in data and cloud information systems. Uh, arts education and advocacy. There's a, a, a very strong community engagement um, um, perspective in that class. Um, strategic planning and evaluation and then managing institutional resources. So let me just um, say a word because this um, sentence uh, here, um, and for those of you who may have heard um, Simone earlier, a lot of our students start the certificate program and then decide um, as they are uh, midstream the, the program that they're interested in a degree program. You should know that the certificate is a professional certificate, but it, it does not um, offer or it is not a degree program. So you're not getting a specific master's degree from this program, you're getting a professional certificate. But what a lot of students do is they then apply to a degree program. You can do that on the front end or you can do that uh, as you are pursuing the certificate. You might say, I'm not really sure that I want to actually do a master's program um, um, as, you, as you enter the certificate program. Uh, you might decide that later on and that's fine. So you could apply either uh, at the beginning or at the end. Uh, but the MFA in creative writing is one of the programs that our certificate is an emphasis in and the Master of Public Administration. So those are the two degree programs that many of our students, um, Simone is one, um, that combine the Arts and Cultural Management Certificate with. Um, now let me, I'm gonna come back to the application information, but let me go and I just want to show you these courses. So these are the specific courses. Um, the Leading Arts and Cultural Organizations in a Global Society, that is a course that Professor um, Keeney um, teaches and the Patron-Based Arts Organization is another class that Professor Keeney um, uh, teaches. Uh, Professor Keeney, did you wanna say a word or two about these two courses? Sure, and maybe I will make it specific to people coming from our school of the arts. So we know we've got a, a, a pretty healthy um, undergraduate population amongst all disciplines, including arts management. So um, with these courses, we were really building upon um, what you get in the undergraduate level. And so leadership, for example, um, is one topic that we really see that emerging at the graduate level. In addition to strategic planning, in a different way than we talk about at the undergraduate level. And in the second course, the patron-based arts organization, um, here we're also building upon what you maybe have learned in marketing and also um, in fundraising and grant writing and applying that to um, work on behalf of an organization and really integrate the concepts of marketing and fundraising into one uh, more seamless um, idea. Um, and really think about the patron as someone who is supporting the organization um, as a customer and also a donor or a supporter. Um, so we, we recognize where people are coming from and um, but also know people are coming from, from other backgrounds that aren't arts management. So there's a lot packed into all five of these classes. Thanks, Professor Kinney, and I'm glad you shared that uh, because uh, as I mentioned, the certificate program is designed for those with an arts management background and those 
um, who don't have an arts management background. We've got students um, who've come from many different disciplines who were majors in political science, um, uh, but uh, later uh, found that this was uh, a discipline and a field of study that was of interest uh, to, to, to them. So as Professor Keating mentioned, we kind of pack a lot into these, uh, these uh, five courses. So the next course is Managing Arts and Cultural Resources. This is the course that uh, is taught uh, by a senior level executive uh, arts and cultural leader here in Charleston. Um, in the past, this course has been taught by Angela Mack, who's the executive director of our Gibbs Museum of Fine Arts, um, and Steve Bedard, who is the CEO of the Gilliard Center. Um, he uh, was formerly the CFO, Chief Financial Officer of the City of Charleston. So they bring real executive level experiences to teaching this course. This course was just taught this past year um, by Scott Watson, who is the Executive Director of our uh, City of Charleston's Office of Cultural Affairs. Um, so we um, have moved this course actually to the uh, um, to the back or the end rather of our curriculum so that you really do after you've um, uh, learned uh, all that you can in the other four courses. Um, this is sort of the last course that you take that uh, puts all of this stuff together um, and that exposes you to uh, how senior level executives uh, manage um, uh, the work that they do in sometimes different ways than uh, a middle management might. So the fourth course is the data management and cloud-based technologies course for arts and cultural institutions. That's a mouthful, <laughs> uh, but we're really excited about this uh, class. And for those of you who um, have some arts management experience, some of you who um, may be coming out of our, um, our, our program as majors um, or minors know that this is a course, um, you've probably learned a little bit about technology, but not a lot uh, in the undergraduate uh, curriculum. Well, this um, provides you with a lot. It is actually taught by um, someone who is a computer scientist um, uh, and information systems guy. He uh, actually had a business that he sold to Blackbaud um, uh, on Daniel Island, uh, but has done a lot of work consulting with large arts and cultural institutions um, and has helped them to sort of think through the kinds of systems that they need in order to, to, to manage uh, data and all types of data within arts institutions. Um, so that is a course that's taught um, fully online. And then uh, our arts education, uh, community engagement and advocacy um, course is taught by uh, Aaron Lee, who uh, teaches in our theater and dance uh, department and who has a very extensive background in arts education and, and particularly community engagement. So those are the five courses. Like I said, um, three courses that are offered in the fall and then the two in the spring. Um, let's see, let me go to, uh, you can click here and, and take a look at the bios of our faculty and staff, um, but let me just show you a little bit about um, what our alums are doing. Here are some of our um, recent alums that graduated last year, but I'm just going to scroll through this and you can actually um, do this as well going onto our website, but I just wanted you to see um, what some of the graduates of the program um, have done. Um, actually, uh, Jill Brenner Gibson uh, graduated in the, um, with the Arts and Cultural Management Certificate in the MFA and Creative Writing Program. She actually worked in our Office of Research and grants administration, but she's out in San Diego now um, and is a grant writer um, there with a nonprofit. Um, uh, Wren uh, Jones, Catherine Wren Jones, uh, also from that MFA and creative writing program with the certificate, and she is a grant writer at um, Spoleto Festival. Um, Let's see, uh, Melanie Seidel uh, was a development associate at the Halsey Institute. 
uh, came out of the MPA program with the certificate and she's now uh, back home um, in, in, in Germany. So you can scroll through this to see uh, what our graduates have done. This is Nancy Cooper who graduated many years ago. She was a graduate assistant uh, in our office as well. And she's a membership manager now at the High Museum of Art in Atlanta. So there are lots of different ways you can put your arts and cultural management certificate um, uh, to, um, to, to, to use. I also wanna, let me just um, say a word or two about um, uh, financial information. And I know Professor Turner um, shared some things with you. We uh, do have a graduate assistantship, as you know, um, Simone Liberty is, is uh, on that graduate assistantship. So that is uh, one of the uh, financial um, uh, opportunities that, uh, that we offer in the certificate. We don't have as much aid because we are a non-degree program, but the graduate certificate is one uh, that we currently offer. And there are stipends, uh, small stipends that are available through the arts and cultural management um, uh, certificate program. So I wanted to share um, that with you as well. And so if you are interested in um, applying, uh, I'm not going to click on the link here, uh, but I will tell you this will go directly to the graduate school, uh, but you will need to form a professional uh, goal statement that explains why you're interested um, in the program. Some of you who may come out of um, different disciplines other than the arts um, uh, would need to um, well, all of, all of you who are actually applying to the program would need to, to explain why you're interested in this field, but particularly are we interested um, uh, in learning uh, more about your interests uh, uh, for those of you who are coming out of the, um, who are entering the program out of the, 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 the field of arts and cultural management. Um, you'll need to have at least a 3.0 um, uh, undergraduate GPA. Uh, your transcript will be needed and a writing sample. Um, we like writing samples that might um, be more um, sort of practical in nature, a uh, portfolio of uh, work that you have completed that uh, has sort of a management uh, edge to it or interest. And so that writing sample um, uh, can be that or it can be uh, a paper that you have written in the past, something that gives us a good idea um, of your of your writing. Um, that is what we um, uh, the application information that we need for the certificate program. If you are applying to either of the other degree programs, they will have application um, criteria that will be a little different from ours. Um, two letters of recommendation as Professor Turner uh, was saying um, earlier. Uh, so uh, that's as much information. I'm just trying to think, is there anything I've left out? Professor Keeney, Simone or Claire? Did we get everything? All right. So if you are interested, um, please feel free to contact um, either of us. Um, uh, this is my information here uh, and Claire's information there, Professor Keeney um, as well. Her information is on the faculty and staff page uh, and as well, Simone Liberty. So thank you so much for listening to us. I'm gonna take us off of share now. Uh, and again, thank you so much